grandfather and family settled when they first came to Canada West in the early 1900s and moved from there. They had a little problem with starvation out there, they say, and uh, they moved back into the early 1900s to what they called, was known then as the Third of Tay. It's uh, had a couple of different names since then. It's called Old Fort Road and currently now County Road 58. So uh, they're kind of settled on the northeast corner of Elliott Side Road and Old Fort Road. And then uh, at that time, Elliott's Corners uh, was called a little hamlet. And on uh, my grandfather's side, there was a blacks old blacksmith shop owned by W.T.J. Guthrie. And on the opposite side was a, uh, a uh, on the corner, on the northwest corner, was a little general store. And the current house that I uh, reside in now, there used to be at the back of it what they called the Elliott's Corner Post Office. Uh, none of those now exist, but that was many, many years ago. My uh, grandparents settled there and they had five boys, and uh, of which my dad was the second oldest. And in 1946, he decided to buy the farm right across the road, which is uh, owned, they said the name of the corner was named after Roy Elliott that lived on the corner, but my dad purchased it from a fellow by the name of Guthrie in 1946. So therefore, uh, in 1947, my uh, dad was got married, and he uh, married uh, Jean Isaac, which was <laughs> not too far away. In those days, he didn't travel very far, down on Hog Valley Road, uh, was the Isaac farm, and uh, they were married in 1947. And lo and behold, in 1948, I came along a year later, in 1948. So then, uh, mom and dad, they had a, what you call a little farm there. They milked 12 cows by hand twice a day, raised some chickens and some hogs, and, and life was uh, fairly uh, tough in those days. I used to hear the story from mother that they had a number of pigs each year they'd raise just to cover the taxes and the expenses on the on the farm to cover some of their their bills as a little extra. So shortly after my I was born, my mother she started the uh, teaching profession, and uh, she taught in the rural area. There was a number of schools in the area. Um, Riverside, Vasey, Moores Corners, and Ebenezer. A couple of lines to the west, Ebenezer School was on the uh, first, and my mother taught there her very first teaching job. And I don't know whether I should tell you her salary or not, but it wasn't very big. At those times, she taught for $1,000 a year in, back in uh, those early days. So between her uh, teaching and my dad doing a bit of farming on his 100-acre farm, they managed to uh, get along. And uh, like I say, they were milking cows and whatnot by hand, so uh, one time they got friends with a fellow in Midland that had uh, a Canadian tire store, and he brought out this Canadian tire milker. It was kind of a double thing where you could milk one cow this way, one cow that way, and and uh, see what happens. Well, I guess the uh, experiment didn't turn out too well. Uh, the cows weren't used to it, of course, and uh, they liked to kick the milkers off and made a kind of a bit of a mess. And so at the end of the, the night, uh, Mr. McKinley said, that's a fool of a rig to try and milk cows with. So he took it back, never did sell it. But anyway, a few years later, the Surge Company, which is a milking company, uh, came out and my dad purchased a couple of milk machines and made life a little bit easier. And the cows got adjusted to it over time. 
Uh, going back, uh, we shipped milk, like I say, for a long, long time. Uh, there was a dairy in Midland. The first dairy uh, dad shipped to was followed by the name of Hodgins Dairy. And then from then we went to uh, uh, Dubbins Dairy in the same place. They took over from Hodgins. And then also uh, from Hodgins it went to Borden's. And this was by can. In those days we were shipping by eight gallon cans. And uh, so anyway, from uh, there back in the day too, to keep the cans cool, they had a vat in the ground and filled full of water, of course. And my dad used to have to make runs in the summertime down to Port Manickel, the old CPR property, and they had what they call ice houses down there and chip off blocks of ice and bring them home to keep the milk cool in the summer. Wasn't so bad in the winter, but the summer it was a back and forth deal. 